Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn uh, chapter 4.1 but learning outcome F. That's mean by the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine the formal charge and the most plausible Lewis structure. Okay, so kita kena belajar formal charge ni sebab kita nak cari the most plausible Lewis structure yang kita perlu draw lah usually. Alright, so let us learn about formal charge. So, description dia, dia kata it is often that we can write more than one Lewis structure for a molecule. Okay, this one kalau kamu perasan once kamu dah belajar lukis Lewis structure for certain molecule, you can draw more than one dia punya Lewis structure. Okay, uh, the easiest example yang saya nak tunjuk adalah yang dekat bawah ni lah. Okay, so as you can see, uh, both Lewis structure adalah Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus. Okay, so tapi as you can see over here on the left, S double bonded dengan O. Okay, and then single bond dengan O. While on the right, S semua single bond dengan O. Okay, so between these two Lewis structure, sebenarnya ada salah satu Lewis structure yang most plausible ataupun kita panggil most stable lah antara dua ni ok, tapi macam mana nak determine yang mana most stable, ok, so nak determine yang mana most stable, kita kena guna formal charge, ok so the concept of formal charge is one way to determine the most stable Lewis structure, ok, so we need to know how to calculate dia punya formal charge, ok formal charge for each atom here then only kita boleh determine between these two Lewis structure which one yang the most plausible ataupun the most stable one. Alright, so next let us look at formula to calculate formal charge. Okay, there are two formula that you can use to calculate formal charge. Okay, so the first one adalah number of valence electron minus number of electron assigned to atom. Okay, so this formula uh, senang je. Okay, sebabnya kamu ambil valence electron tu Tolak dengan elektron di sekeliling atom tersebut. Okay, around the atom you have to count one by one ada berapa elektron. Okay, lepas tu dapat jawapan formal charge dia. Okay, the second formula dia complicated sikit. Uh, you have to take number of valence elektron juga. Tapi minus lone pair, how many lone pair ada kat situ kena kira. Okay, and then minus with half bonding pair. Okay, so... Uh, lone pair ni kamu tahulah yang titik bulat dua ni ini adalah lone pair ok kalau uh, bonding pair ni maksudnya dalam bond tu ok so dalam bond tu ada bonding pair lah ada elektron dalam satu bond ada dua elektron ok so uh, personally I prefer to use the first formula here lah because lagi senang sim simple ok ini macam uh, yang kedua ni formula dia macam complicated sikit Okay, but I will teach you both method. Okay, but it is up to you which one yang kamu prefer. Okay, so jom kita tengok example lah. Alright, so kita start dengan HCOH. So this is the Lewis structure of HCOH. Okay, sebab my main point here adalah I want to teach you how to calculate the formal charge. So that's why saya dah bagi kat kamu Lewis structure yang dah siap lah. Okay. Alright, so step to calculate formal charge on carbon atom. Okay, formal charge kita kena kira dekat setiap atom yang ada. Okay, so saya nak kira formal charge carbon je dulu. Okay, so dia kata total number of non-bonding electron which is lone pair. Okay, ada berapa lone pair dekat sini. Okay, so dekat carbon ada lone pair ke? Kalau kita tengok macam tak ada lone pair kan, dia semua ada bonding pair. Okay, dia so ada bonding electron sahaja. So... Kita letak 0 lah over here. Okay. Then dia kata uh, bonding electron around carbon. Okay. So bonding electron maksudnya electron di dalam bond. Okay. Electron in the bond. Okay. So electron in the bond around carbon. Okay. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 bond around carbon. Okay. And we already know that in a bond there are 2 electron. Okay. So 4 times 2 equal to? Eight. Okay, so that's mean total bonding electron around carbon adalah 8 electrons. Okay, right. So, kenapa nak kenapa nak determine ni? Okay, sebab saya nak ajar kamu guna formula yang ini dulu. Okay, kalau nak guna formula ni, kamu kena tahu bonding electron ataupun bonding pair dia. Lepas tu lone pair pun kamu kena tahu juga. Okay, baru boleh kira. Okay, so kita kira, dia kata formal charge. Valence electron for carbon adalah 4. Okey, 4 valence electron. Okey, sebab dia dalam group 14. 
minus with Okay, kalau formula tadi dia kata minus with lone pair Okay, so over here we have zero lone pair Okay, and then minus with half bonding pair Okay, that's mean half electron yang ada dalam bonding pair Okay, so half times with 8 tadilah Okay, so carbon equal to 4 tolak 4 lah sebenarnya kan Jadinya Z, uh, 4 tolak 4 So 0 dia formnya formal charge So formal charge for carbon adalah 0 Okay, uh, itu method yang susah sikit lah Okay, tapi method yang saya nak guna adalah yang bawah ni Yang saya nak ajar, or tu Okay, so formal charge of carbon equal to 4 Okay, 4 tu adalah valence electron dia Minus with number of electron around carbon Okay, so number of electron around carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 Okay, saya tahu kita ada dalam satu bond ada 2 elektron Tapi kita kira macam Half daripada carbon ni sahaja sebenarnya Around this carbon, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 electron Okay, so 4 minus 4 equal to 0 So, formal charge of carbon memanglah 0 lah The same answer Okay, so whichever method yang kamu guna You should get the same answer Right, so let us look at formal charge of oxygen atom pula Okay, tapi untuk dekat sini Structure ni ada salah sikit So, please add this uh, lone pair Okay, sebenarnya dekat oksigen ni ada dua lone pair lah Okay, ha, so saya tinggal satu lone pair Right, so barulah kita kira formal charge on oxygen Okay, so I'm not going to use the first method Okay, sebab bagi saya complicated I will just use the second method here Okay, so kita start terus Formal charge of oxygen equal to 6 valence electron of oxygen Minus weak electron around oxygen Okay, so this is oxygen Around oxygen, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electron. Okay, so 6 minus 6 equal to 0. Okay, so formal charge of oxygen equal to 0. Okay, so itu sajalah. Kalau kamu nak cuba cari formal charge for hydrogen pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Okay, hydrogen dia punya formal charge valence electron dia adalah 1. So, 1 minus dengan 1 electron around it. So, 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, formal charge ini 0, ini 0, ini 0, ini 0. Okay. So, let us look at the second example which is carbon dioxide. Okay. So, in this example, we need to draw the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide on our own. And then, we need to calculate the formal charge for each atom. Okay. So, formula for carbon dioxide, hopefully kamu tahu adalah CO2. Okay. So, carbon will become the central atom because usually if we have carbon, carbon akan jadi central atom lah usually. Okay. So, but then next kita kena kira valence electron for carbon adalah 4. Okay. Oxygen ada 6 valence electron. But there are 2 oxygen. So, 12. Okay, and then total up equal to 16 valence electron. Okay, so 16 valence electron minus with the bonding electron dalam ni ada 4 lah sebab ada 2 bond. 4 electron, so minus 4 equal to 12. Okay, and then this 12 electron we need to fill in dekat terminal atom to make it octet. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Okay, kenapa 6 saja elektron around oxygen Sebab dah ada another 2 here dah cukup dah otak Okay, alright So, ini pun 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Okay, so end up we have used up all 12 elektron yang ada tu Kita dah habis gunakan Okay, alright So, this is our living structure of carbon dioxide Tapi, if you leave your answer like this Dia akan salah Okay, sebab you have to make sure carbon dekat tengah ni pun octet Okay, because carbon ni mesti octet Right now, this carbon only have 2, 4 electron Okay, that's mean this carbon need another 4 electron lah Alright, so kita pun uh, kena lah sacrifice kita punya lone pair yang dekat oxygen To form double bond or triple bond Okay, so let's say lah I sacrifice this lone pair to become double bond here Okay, still not enough. I need another one bond. Okay, so I will try to sacrifice another lone pair from oxygen yang satu lagi. Okay, and then jadikan double bond sini. So, sekarang carbon ni dah ada 1, 2, 3, 4 bond. Okay, 4 bonds times 2 electron each. 
So maksudnya dah ada 8 electron around carbon So carbon dah octet Okay so this oxygen walaupun kita sacrifice dia punya lone pair Tapi dia masih octet Okay 2, 4, 6, 8 Okay ini pun sama 2, 4, 6, 8 Alright So ini adalah uh, kita punya Lewis structure for CO2 lah Okay Alright Tapi sebenarnya we have another Lewis structure for CO2 Okay so kalau lah kita back to yang tadi tu sebelum kita tambah double bond tu Okay kalau kamu perasan kita structure kita macam ni yang sebelum kita tambah double bond tadi Okay carbon tu tak octet Okay tadi saya sacrifice one lone pair from oxygen yang sebelah kanan Ada one lone pair from oxygen yang sebelah kiri Okay what if saya sacrifice both electron from the same oxygen Boleh juga Okay so let's say dia jadi macam tu That's mean I'm going to form triple bond dekat sini Okay So in this case pun boleh This carbon octet And this oxygen pun octet So that's mean kita ada two Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. Okay. Alright. So tak apa. Kita kira je formal charge dulu untuk uh, kedua-dua Lewis structure ni lah. Alright. So uh, jom kita buat pengiraan terus lah. Okay. So over here saya dah divide into two. Okay. So ini pengiraan untuk CO2 yang double bond dua-dua. Ini untuk yang triple bond and single bond. Okay, so for this uh, carbon dioxide punya structure, okay, so kita akan kira formal charge for carbon and formal charge for both oxygen. But since both oxygen dia punya karakteristik dia sama, maksud saya karakteristik tu adalah this oxygen ada two lone pair, okay, uh, oxygen ni pun ada two lone pair and then oxygen ni yang ini ada double bond dua, ini pun ada double bond dua. So kita tak perlulah nak kira dua kali dia punya formal charge sebab dia punya formal charge akan sama je sebab dia the way they bond sama. Okay. Alright. So that's why over here saya label this is formal charge of A. Okay. So dua-dua A. Okay. So senang untuk kita buat pengiraan sekali je. Right, so let us start with uh, formal charge of carbon dulu Okay, so carbon punya valence electron adalah 4 Okay, minus with dia punya electron around carbon ada 1, 2, 3, 4 Okay, so 4 minus 4 equal to 0 So that is the formal charge of carbon Okay, well, formal charge for oxygen yang A ni Okay, so kita valence electron oxygen adalah 6 So tolak dengan okay around oxygen there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 electron. Okay so 6 minus 6 equal to 0. So formal charge for oxygen pun 0, carbon pun 0. Okay so that is for the first structure of carbon dioxide. Okay so next kita tengok the second Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. Dia punya pengiraan formal charge dia. Okay, so carbon yang dekat tengah ni sama juga. Okay, kita kena ambil 4 valence electron of carbon minus with 1, 2, 3, 4 electron around carbon. Okay, so 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Formal charge of carbon in the middle is 0. Okay, uh, so next kita akan kira formal charge for oxygen A and then formal charge for oxygen B. Okay, oxygen A and B saya, saya label dia benda yang lain sebab as you can see the way they bond lain. Ini oxygen ni ada triple bond, oxygen ni ada single bond. So, dia memang dah lain. So, dia, dia punya formal charge dua-dua akan jadi lain. So, kita kena kira satu-satu. Let us start with formal charge of oxygen A dulu. Okay, for oxygen A, there are six valence electron. Sama je lah. Okay, tolak dengan satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima electron around oxygen. So, six minus five equal to plus 1. Okay, plus 1 is the formal charge of oxygen A. Okay, so kita tengok oxygen B punya formal charge pula. Okay, 6 valence electron minus with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so 6 minus 7 equal to minus 1. Okay, so kita dah dapat lah formal charge untuk uh, oxygen A adalah plus 1. Okay, carbon adalah 0. Uh, oxygen B adalah negatif 1 Okay so As you can see dia punya formal charge dia lain lah Compared to yang uh, Lewis structure yang lagi satu Okay Alright now so apa significant Different in dia punya Formal charge tu Itu yang kita akan tengok Seterusnya